Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video we are proving that any given triangle has to have 180 degrees as the sum of its three angles. It's a short, very cute proof, so let's get right into it and hopefully you have as much fun as I do. So we'll just take any random triangle, could look like anything, but it doesn't really matter what it looks like. We'll just say it looks something like this. So we've got any generic triangle, and then from one vertex, or rather passing through some vertex of the triangle, we are going to construct the line that is parallel to the opposite side, if it were to continue as a line. So we're going to construct a line through this vertex, parallel to the opposite side. So it's going to look something like that, more or less. Hopefully that is uh, convincing enough for you to follow along and make sense of what we're doing. So now we can also extend this side here, just do it with some dotted lines because it's not actually part of the triangle, and we can extend this side here, and these are basically lines that are cutting uh, this pair of parallel lines here. So then we know that this angle right here is congruent to this angle here because they are alternate interior angles. You've got your two parallel lines here and you've got this line here that cuts uh, those two parallel lines. These are your alternate interior angles. Similarly, this angle here is congruent to this angle here. So this is congruent to that and this is congruent to that. In both cases, it's because these are alternate interior angles. And then we've got this third angle right here. I'll just uh, mark it like this. We know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degrees because these angles all together form a line here. We see that very clearly it has to be 180 degrees. They are a linear triplet, so to speak. So because these add up to 180, and this angle plus this angle plus this angle has to be the same as this. We know that any given triangle, because that's what we started with, is a generic triangle, has to have 180 degrees. Let me just put some letters to these angles and I'll write it out. So let's say that this angle measure is A, let's say that this angle measure is B, and this angle measure is C. Well, from this, we know that A plus B plus C is 180 degrees, and I already explained that. They're a linear triplet. They uh, form this sort of line right here, this open angle. And then the angle sum of the triangle is the same thing. It's this angle, which is congruent to A, so that's A plus this angle, congruent to B, plus B plus C. We already said that's 180, so it's guaranteed that any given triangle, that's what this is, any random triangle, has to have 180 degrees. You can do this proof with a triangle no matter what it looks like. You draw a line through one vertex parallel to the opposite side, and then you continue the same way we just did, and it's the exact same proof. So this works for no matter whatever triangle you draw, it'll work. Of course, we just use some pretty, pretty looking triangle. I think it's a pretty nice looking triangle. Um, but in any event, that's how you do it. This proves that every triangle has to have 180 degrees as the sum of its three angles. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove just that, and I hope it convinced you if you were at all skeptical of the claim. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or any other video requests, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.